Hello everyone, this season, get your hands on the algorithm playlist. I'll be linking it in the description below. Subscribe to Mirage Debugs and promise yourself to create a list of all the new algorithms that you will be learning and also optimizing and changing what you had previously known. Let's get started with the May Long Challenge Code Chef 2021. The question in front of our plate is tic tac toe and jungly games is hiring guys so you got to fill the forms and of course algorithm playlist is the one shot playlist that's going to help you i'm going to update update it throughout so do subscribe and check it out let's begin tic tac toe 50 percent of my job is done as we all know what a tic tac toe is yes it's the exact tic tac toe Let's begin analyzing the problem, but guys, uh, stay with me throughout because there will be subtle points that I'll be giving here and there, which would build up to our analysis at the end of the video. But before that, every point, you can't miss anything while solving this problem. So let's start reading the problem. It's the same tic-tac-toe game that we all know, all right. So it's the same tic-tac-toe game that we know about and uh, it's played between two players with a three cross three grid in a turn a player chooses an empty cell and places their symbols now it's okay we know about it now note that the player that starts uses symbol x now this is one takeaway that you need for the uh, next analysis so the player that starts starts with a symbol x and the next followed by a zero right the game continues until there is a row column diagonal we know that right the game how it works and for someone who doesn't know you can read the problem it's simple the game continues and there is a row column or diagonal containing three of the same symbols cross or zeros and the player with that particular token with same diagonal rows or columns wins as simple as that now what will we be given now we are given a basic tic-tac-toe board and consisting of symbols so we'll be given a pattern right so suppose this is a pattern we'll be giving it we'll be getting it in a string so this is the particular pattern suppose and we have to predict from here that will it be condition one will it be condition two and will it be condition three now guys please lay spe special emphasis on this particular conditions because they are very critical to the problem because this is the thing that you have in the problem rest you know about tic tac toe now when we have to print one two and three we have to print one if the position is reachable now guys uh, listen out the position is reachable for whom you'll have to make that out like i said the starting player starts with x so with the current position you will have to decide whose move is next for this particular arrangement i can say the next move is of x because x started and then zero came then again x came then zero came then x came and then zero came now it's the turn of x again right so now it's the turn of x and uh, so if x is reachable what does it mean for any of the blank spaces that we have i can see that x is reachable the nearest x x's are reachable right so uh, leave that for now for so for this particular pattern i'll return one when the game is drawn or one of the players has won now i can clearly see that the zeroth player has won he has won so i'll return one in this particular condition uh, and when is the game drawn when we know that for every arrangement that we have the game is just going to be drawn if 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 you had a zero here if we had a x here if we had x here if you had a zero here if we are given this particular arrangement we will return one as we know it's drawn right we return two when we return two if uh, at least if if the position is reachable for every value for the next player of the next move and we know that there can be at least one more move possible to predict who is going to win or is it draw so if we are in that a condition we will return a uh, two now when do we return three now this is very critical for this particular i'll just stop this for a moment just a second uh okay hang on 
uh, okay so for this particular if you see when will we get the third condition right we'll get the third condition when suppose we have x x x here 0 0 0 here now suppose my next move is of x and x is not reachable at any of the three blanks i have three blanks here can x reach directly be it column wise be it uh, diagonally be it row wise can x reach here no so for any condition my next move is going to be of x and x can't reach here so i'll uh, return 3 at for this particular condition so what we have to do will be given instances of a game and we'll have to predict is it a first state is it a second state or is it a third state let's continue further deep down with our discussion guys let us go through the constraints and the analysis of such a problem and how we are to think for a certain problem right so uh, the constraint says that the first line t is our given test case correct the next each of the test case contains three lines of input where each line contains a string describing the state of the ith row like i said what will be given will be given the state of the ith row now you can see here clearly what we are given we are given a test case and then we are given states of the three rows now let us discuss here this is very important okay so i just say the states my states are cross zero cross for the first row cross cross zero uh, for the second row and then you have a zero and you have this dash now this dash is important right this is a string and you'll have to uh, while coding you'll have to get this dash and understand that which spaces are blank zero now for this particular condition what will we be returning is our problem let's see will we be returning one two or three now first job is to identify whose move is this you can clearly see whose move is this it's uh if x is starting and if it's even right one two three four one two three four it's x move right the final move is of x now uh conditions now remember conditions one and two were if it is reachable and conditions three were if it is not reachable my move is of x and i can see it is reachable i mean we can come here via any path right we, we have two right now so it is reachable so three can directly be eliminated it is either one it is either two right okay so if i put a cross here you see if i hadn't put a cross here and if i had put a zero here what would have happened the zeroth man would have won so it's not a clear state of someone winning or someone drawing i'll return two as my answer because for this particular move i prohibited winning two like winning the second player who's playing with zeros right so it's my second state go and read back go back and read the statement once again why did i say second okay now let us let us look for another example uh okay i'll just quickly clear the scene give me a second uh all right so the second statement is something like this which i have explained already x x x zero 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 whose first condition whatever instance you are given there are three dashes let me be clear so first condition whatever you are given you'll have to find whose move is this again once again it's sir x's move x's move is this is x reachable at any of these boxes directly no sir clearly i can't come i'll have to overcome zero here i'll have to overcome zero there zero here zero there no way i can come at in any of these places so it's a direct cut three i'll output three see in the output here three so you can we can watch for another example simple guys uh, in which case we'll be printing one it's given right so xox uh, okay let's see okay so xox and you have ox dash and xo dash so you are given this particular configuration right now we can clearly find that x has one already so what should i print should i check for whose move it is or something no x has one and i'll be printing one 
so whenever i see in my instance someone is winning i'll print one as simple as that right so i hope it's clear uh, with two three and one printing now let's uh, continue with uh, the analysis see here it's very important that how many now if you have if you have noted you, you had three to the power nine as a as your constraints as the maximum number of uh, queries that will be given right so for each matrix that you are given i request you that for every cross consider it to be one for zeros consider it to be zero and for every blanks consider it to be minus one and put it in your three cross three array right once you do this it will it'll get simpler see all you have to check is whose move it is firstly secondly you will have to check all these you'll have to check for these rows these columns and these diagonals that any one of either be it x or either be it zero are matching or not if it is matching return one simple now if in any of these eight cases of each rows columns and two diagonals if you see there is no matching of zeros and ones here is a condition that no one has won yet so uh, i'll find for the reachability now suppose i have this place as bank blank and the move is of x's so i'll see the nearest three points that i have is x available here if at any of the three points i find there is no x availability or if i get a dash and if i get a x here that would also do if i get a x a dash and if i get a x here that would also do but if i see all of these three are blocked i know for sure this is not reachable i'll return three my friends and when do i return to it's simple we return to when we see that there has to be one more move for the confirmation of what is going to happen either we are winning or losing so you can solve it via brute force it's simple just make sure about ones twos and threes because that was critical in this problem subscribe to mirage debugs it's very important also uh, you can have a look at the description and we'll be learning a lot, I promise you that. Thank you.